everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Vampire. Um, we should probably do the main story, even though I could easily go off up here to the outpost. Don't know what will happen if we do that. Are they doing the are they doing the thing? They're doing the thing. What are they doing? Oh, it better be nothing nasty. Can I be sure I'll not find your unconscious body in the house again? <gasps> I promise you, you'll not find my unconscious body. For God's sake, how can you say such a thing? How can you refuse to listen? I tried to warn you for so long. No, I won't let my only son die. You promised me you'll stay alive. Your son lied to you, like the whole world lies to us. Oh... He tried to hang himself. Okay, I thought it was going to be something way worse and more dire than that. I met him in New York. If only there were more of us, with less resignation and more determination. I know I can count on you. I wish I could say the same for the others. You look exhausted. You're pushing yourself too hard. You don't have to bear the burdens of this hospital anymore. It's safer here than anywhere else in the East End. So there's an unknown lady in there as well. Alright, let's go talk to the mother and son. Now that we saw that. As for me. Hey. I don't know who to talk to first. You, I suppose. Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? He'll live. Your son wished to die, Beatrice. Why did you hide such crucial information? Are you not aware suicide is a crime? Mortimer oh, could be right. in jail. I can't let that happen. I won't. I understand you fear the legal consequences, Mrs. Goswick. But don't you realize your silence significantly affects your son's case? All my son needs is help and comprehension. Not judgment and punishment for what he may or may not have done. True. I no, I agree with you. But we, as doctors, you need to tell Goodbye, doctors Mrs. how you, how you got that um, injury or something, because they're only there to help you. And if they find out that you that it wasn't what they thought you got it from, they might diagnose you wrong and don't treat you well, because they didn't know that. Good evening, Mister Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Yeah, I bet you are. Admit it, Mortimer. Your mother had you hospitalized here because you tried to kill yourself. Yes, it's true. All right, then. This is the first time we've really shared information about your case. Shall we call this progress? Call it what you want, Dr. Reed. You can trust me. I won't report you to the authorities. My one and only concern is your health. I guess I should thank you, then. Yeah, of course. Can I help you in any way, Mr. Goswick? I wrote a letter for my mother. She was supposed to read it after... after my death. But... I suppose she doesn't have to read it now. I see. And is this letter still near the place where you tried to take your own life? Yes. And I don't want anyone reading my last words. I mean, I'm still here. If you bring me back that letter, then... Perhaps we'll talk. Okay, local investigations. A new citizen investigation is available. Press. I know about these. Why are you? 
Citizen investigations are displayed here, categorized by districts. You can start a new citizen quest by tracking it with square, then access to your map to locate the area to explore. So we can either give it to her or him. Mm. I mean... Okay. I have to go now, so good evening, sir. Doctor, as for me. Oh, I got scared there. I was, huh? Oops. Well, we do have two things we could do. We could enter their own, the old morgue to stay in this district, or we could try to cross into the other one. Also, there's a dude in a sewer somewhere. I'm not too sure how to get there. Not too sure how to get there. Because we met the dude down there, but then... Huh. Is that to my hideout? Sure looks like it. That's hilarious. Like, what happens if I... It says, enter at your own risk. Whitechapel. Seems very serious. Is that a skull? No, I should not be here. I have to go. You're right, I should not enter this place at all. The fuck? Level 18? What level am I? How do I know? I'm only level 6, brother. Okay, never mind, we're not going to Whitechapel. Whitechapel's scary. Whitechapel's scary. We are staying in the healthy hospital. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? What's the other ones? Where's this one? Oops. Oh, that's nearby. Let's go do that. <laughs> uh, enter at your own risk. You're fucking right. I ain't going in there. I ain't going in there. Okay. It's fine. We'll work our way up to that eventually. Level 18. Brother. I need to know how to make medicine. Oh. I'm tired of your shit, Clay. What the fuck did you do? All the bloody docks are across my head. My husband has just got that stupid kid. How many times did I tell you to count to 20 before drawing your blade? How can we expect to do proper business and have people obey if you keep on killing everyone who dares cross you? Now rumor says some blokes from the dead's families are looking for you, and one of them says... Or one of them even swore to kill you. Don't come home tonight. I've seen strange men patrolling the streets. They may do be some commie militia or something like that to s sent to arrest you. Go to a safe place for a few days. Maybe go to the hospital or Whitechapel. Make yourself useful for once by checking if any business could be settled over there. When the situation is calmer, I'll send a wet boot boy so that you know to come back, Edwina. Oh, oh, oh. Clay is married to Edwina Cox. Interesting that that was here, of all places. Was that his bed? Okay. Taking a leak, and I'm back here. I'm back here, dude. Are you gonna be done? Fuck it, interrupting your leak. <laughs> hey, Doc. You still hear the liquid? What can you tell me about your marriage, Clay? Marriage is the sweetest cage, they say. Well, I found myself locked in one with a wild animal. You mean your wife keeps you on your toes? No, I mean, we both have claws and we both love to bite. Okay. Am I right to assume your wife's letter pissed you off, Clay? I was so mad, I threw away the knife she gave oh. me when we got married. Your wife gave you a knife as a wedding present. That knife has always been my lucky charm. If I'd had it in my hand when I got stabbed on that pier, I'd not have been wounded. 
Okay. Do you want it back? I don't need it here. But if you'd be kind enough to bring it to me, I'd be really grateful. A grateful Clay Cox. I might just find your knife and bring it back to you to see that happen. I can give you directions, <laughs> but I'd be surprised if you managed to find it. My hideout isn't meant to be found easily. A lucky charm. I never would have taken you as the superstitious type. We all have our flaws, Doc. Mine's to have my weapon of choice for when the really dirty business comes around. No, I get that. I get that a hundred percent. I'll leave you. Okay. Mr. Cox. Noted. Okay, so we have two sorry, we have two quests now we can do. Let's go do um this one. You want us to find his knife. Where is that located? Oh, close by as well, but at the docks. I would like to do this one first. Right, Newton. Don't worry, I'll come back. Hmm. Popular Fawborg, we've been here. think. Oh, I found some. <laughs> Never mind. I I could fight them, but Okay, this is a hideout. Oh, this is their place? It's flat. Okay, well, why is it so fucked up? It's our hideout now. I thought I just got some things I could make stuff with. I need a common part. Okay, let's look around. My dear mother, when you find this leather, I'll be gone. I want you to know that I don't I didn't I don't leave because of you. I leave this world because of the crushing weight that existence puts upon me. These times are too much for me. Sometimes I feel like Baudelaire's verses have been written as an echo for my own heart. When the low heavy skies weighs like a lid upon the spirit aching for the light, and all the wide horizons line is hid by a black day sadder than any night. It's as beautiful as it is painful, Mother. I can't suffer anymore. I don't want to try to convince me, and it would only delay the inevitable. For I would do it again if by any chance she managed to save me once. Farewell, your son, Mortimer. In this letter, Mortimer Goswick does nothing to hide his desire to die. I could give it to his mother, but doing so would betray his trust. Why is their place looks like shit? Why does their place look like shit? <laughs> what the fuck? Fertile is the belly of the beast. Excuse me? Vampires create their foul progeny with blood. We all know that. Some of us witnessed the process even. But what's really going on there? Is it the only way for a vampire to breed? Let's review what we know so far. When willingly willing to create a progeny, a vampire will not bite but give its blood to drink. Most of the victims die when bitten, but some of them survive and turn into leeches themselves. This only happens when they have assimilated the vampire blood, one way or another. Oh, we could have saved our sister in some capacity. It is not the pred predator's bite, but it's blood that infects the victim who will turn if he or she will survives the suffering and the metamorphosis. <sighs> we could have saved our sister, maybe. It also seems that a vampire can breed by having intercourse. Whoa! A vampire mates to produce a child. Sexual intercourse between vampire and human rarely produce any birth, but some of them try it anyway. A vampire gestation is only a few weeks short, and the pain is almost unbearable for the mother. Oh. If she is mortal, she will not survive the birth. A vampire comes out of the womb by tearing apart her entrails. If the mother is a blood drinker, it will probably survive and regenerate. 
The newborn vampire will quickly grow and turn into an adult vampire in only a few months. From the adversary by Kendall Stone, founder of the Guard of Prewin. Excuse me? Only a few months? It's locked. How do it's I? It's locked, all right. <sighs> How do I get things? Oh, I see. Okay. Man. How do I unlock things? Oh, you need a lot of codeine. Fatigue. I need these ingredients, but I don't know where to get them yet. Level 10s, 11s, I probably shouldn't go that way. <gasps> I'm leaving, don't worry. <laughs> um, let's return this. Actually... Maybe we can go about in the back alleys better. Are y'all gonna see me eat this rat? I can't believe I'm doing this. This is despicable. Brother. Quarantine influenza. Keep out of this area by order of Board of Health. Health officer. What happened? Are we gonna fight these dudes? God, okay, hi. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Damn. It's okay to kill them. They're fine to kill. There's so many. Level twelve. I'm trying to avoid these dudes. Dude, let me in. Where are you? There are literally vampires right underneath your nose. Wow, 
Why is this locked? It's locked, all right. Why? It's locked. Okay, let's go back this way. That's probably where we can go to his hideout. I hope. Did it. That could have been real bad. Your king and country need you. Oh, is this it? A large and beautiful knife with a name engraved on the blade. Clay. This must be Clay Cox's knife. A fine blade. No wonder he wants it back. Oh, can I use it for myself? That would have been funny if I could have. Hmm. Alright, well, let's get back. Um, Kind of skirt around the edges of all these um, pre-wins. But I think we did good enough. Combat, I'm getting used to. I don't think it's that bad anymore. I just gotta learn to be patient. Oh. And kind of sneak up on people. That's kind of the gist. Kind of wish there was a teleport button, but... Sure, I see why there isn't. Believe I'm doing this. You don't have to say that every time, dude. This is despicable. Hey, it's better than killing a person, isn't it? Right? We'll go there in a second. We'll go that way in a second. First of all, let's get back and return these two things, the knife to Clay and the letter. I guess we're going to give it to him, because maybe we can convince him otherwise. Wait, where's Clay? Shouldn't he be over here? There he is. Is he pissing again? Jeez. How much did you drink? Hey, Doc. Hey, found your knife. I have found the gift. In that case, you'll be properly rewarded, Doc. Clay Cox is a man of his word. I hope that won't make me an accomplice to your future crimes. Who knows what I might do now I'm <laughs> invincible again. Oh, no. Well, I guess we finished everything for him. I'll Goodbye. You for now, Mr. Cox. Yay, we did it! Alright, let's go turn this in. Yeah, we'll give it to the sun. Hello? Don't worry, I have your last words in testament. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. I have retrieved your letter, Mr. Goswick. I can assure you that nobody read it but me. Thank you. <clears throat> this is for you, then. For your help. And for your silence. I think you should talk to your mother. It would be good for both of you. Thank you, Dr. Reed. I'll think about it. Now, please, let me be. Oh, he gave me a lot of money. I've read your letter, Mortimer. You wrote about an unbearable feeling of despair while the world crumbles around you. Tell me more about it. There's nothing more to say, really. It's hurtful, it's unbearable, and I don't ask anyone to understand what I feel. Ooh. 
Despair is a deadly poison. Despair is a deadly poison I've tasted myself, so We're only tempted to drink it because we're terrified by the uncertainty of the next minute. I know that perfectly, Doctor, for I waited for so long, hoping that the next minute would be less unbearable. Damn. Okay. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Don't waste your time with me. Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? Mm. Oh. Mortimer is extremely vague as to his motivations for committing suicide. Tell me more about what you know. As you say, Mortimer had no reason to die. All he said to me was that he wanted to make the world a better place. What? Why did your son feel so useless when facing the world? I think it was more that he could only see the melancholy facets of life. He couldn't help but dwell on such things. Okay. What do you think he meant by making the world a better place? Mortimer has always been a sensitive soul. He wouldn't talk to anyone for months after his father passed. It's like he carries everyone's sadness with him. Damn. Do we want to talk about that with her? I have read your son's suicide note. It was not an impulsive gesture, nor was it his first attempt. He threatened to kill himself a few times before. But I never thought he would dare to punish me this much. Punish you? Punish you? Why? I've known for a long time he was not happy with his life. But I always hoped he cared enough to avoid making me suffer like this. You? She's making it about herself. Do you realize your son could try to kill himself again? He might succeed next time. I think about it every minute. But I won't stop fighting for my son's future. That's how much I love him. But what has she done to help ease his pain besides bring him to the hospital this one time? You're right. Your son's death was not fatal. And unlike many on their own, he is lucky to have you by his side. I can't give up on him. I just can't. I have conceded many times in my life, but giving up on my son is something I am incapable of. Ooh, maybe we should have uh, been like you're in denial, bitch. Oops. Too late now, I have to live with these consequences. Goodbye, ah, the door. Hey, I know we just had this conversation. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. I'm okay. Okay. Your mother won't let you down, Mortimer. Don't you share her hope for a better future? No. I don't. Won't you even try? Do you want me to promise you I'll get better? Do you want me to tell her the same thing? I could, but it would not change anything. Damn. I feel like I fucked this quest up. I have to go. Okay. Ah! I will not let you down, my boy. Oh, brother, everyone's fucked up in this hospital. Okay, so we've done all these quests, but these ones. And where does that? It's at the docks. I wonder if we could go over there. Probably not. Let's focus on the main story, you know? Everyone's doing okay. I wonder why we're not allowed in here. All right, let's go do the quest. Isn't there like a passage back here? Not here. I wonder why the Goswicks came here in the first place. All right, let's go. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Come on, Dr. Reed. Focus up. What? What's this area? Is this part of the hospital? What's happening here? Interesting area. Shotgun shell. Keep out. Damn. Okay. I think we're good to go on. I was just exploring just a little bit. Inside the morgue we go. Oh god. I was teleporting me. Going to a new area. The old morgue healthy. Find useful medicinal ingredients in the old morgue. This is probably how we learn how to make uh, things to cure people. God. Is anyone in here? Why does it sound like this in here? Oh, I didn't mean to leave. I thought that would just like unlock the door. I guess it did. Okay. That sounds like a skull. Why? I'm about to say, I know there's stuff we can probably pick up in here. And we came from this way? Yes. Why is it sound like there's a skull in here? I cannot enter. They're really making it seem like there's something in here. Other than me. Oh. Oh! we go then rogue skull Damn, what have you done in here damn poor dude in here behavior is similar to the infected William Bishop must be the same strain the sickness moves faster than influenza. Who are you, random dude? Lots of blood. It's locked. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. Nice. We'll check that out in a second. Damn. 
Ah, ah. Where'd you come from? Free win? I haven't used bullets a lot. I wonder if I should. I cannot enter. Cannot enter because you're a coward to break down the door. He could do it. Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. Uh -huh. But they do contain iron tartrate and that might prove itself useful. Iron tartrate. What does that do? Oh, I want to go up. There's a third floor. Sorry, dude. We could tear down a door if we wanted to. But he doesn't. To the basement! Who the fuck? Wonderful. Who's that? These skulls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not after blood. Oh, are they not? Uh, just rotting corpse stuff? Maybe I should try out the gun. <gasps> Oops. I wasted a bullet. Jesus. That sounds scary. Let's go get this other rogue skull, I suppose. What are you trying to get in there for? Whoa, stop. What? Why did you do that? Sounds like there might be something scary in here. Something big. Like a boss fight? Oh. And you're telling me this is 
All these doors are closed for what reason? Hold on, let's deal with this side. It's locked, all right. No. Office of Pinbrook Hospital, Medical Examiner, Report Investigation, Sam O'Connor. Con what? What is that race? Caucasian? Is that what it's supposed to say? Male, 39, unknown. Fisherman, natural. Fast progression of pneumonia by virus induced pulmonary consolidation. Spanish influenza. Dr. Tippett's, Nurse Gwaneth. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. What do you mean his injuries don't ma match the report? Blood absorb. You just acquired a new type of offhand weapon. Equip it and press triangle directly absorb blood. That's cool. You want me to examine this? It's locked. Alright, well we got a new offhand. Let's try it out. Three absorb. Okay. Hi. Are you gonna pop up and? My God. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps. Drug overdose. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. Okay. The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. Excuse me? A puncture over the left lung, possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. What? Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, <gasps> causing the patient's death. And then he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's oh my god, to... Tippett's! Tippett has made an egregious error. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghetti -o. What do you mean, Tippett's? Um, I don't know we finding things out about people. That's why this room is closed off. Not because we're going to have a fight in here, but because they didn't want anyone else getting in if you wanted to examine that first. Alright. Something's in here. What are you? John Doe. weapons I don't like this <gasps> chill sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. So tempting indeed. We mustn't. We must stay strong. We must stay strong, brothers. Lord have mercy. 
Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. What's the proper dosage, Doc? Oh! I can make stuff. You have enough components to craft a medicine treatment for fatigue. Let's go! I think there's at least two people that's fatigued. Oh wait, can I upgrade anything? Let's do it! I might switch back to this. I can get one or the other. Add three stun points when the weapon hits. Increase stamina consumption. I think stun points are better. That's better. We can get something like this. Increase damage dealt or absorb blood points when the weapon hits. So damage dealt. Okay, let me put that stake back on. I think I'll like it much better. Is that two-handed? All right, I guess we're good to leave. Oh, can I move? All right, we are good to go. Don't think there's gonna be any more enemies in here. I think we got everything we needed as well. It's not the way. Yowla, hi, hi. That's nice. Oh, what the? He bit me back. Oh, no stamina, no stamina. Chill, chill, chill. Get out of here. I thought I, they got me. They got me with that. I didn't think there would be anyone else. And yet. And there's more. What are you running off to? How there's so many in here? Oh, what? Can I please lock onto the other dude? Can I dodge away from him? Cool. Jesus Christ. Jesus. We're good? I don't like fighting in closed, confined spaces. Wait, where's the other body? Okay. Where did you even come from? Okay, I'm good to go. I'm good to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Alright, we can cure some people now. Also need to interrogate the nurse, I think.
Oh, I wonder if we can come up to Swansea. Where's Gwyneth? Also, can I... Hi. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, Nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. I bet. He's been looking for you. I bet he has. Passing. Okay, disease decreases the blood quality of a citizen using the correct medicine to heal them. Speak to the patient in the room behind door feed to check his medical status. Yep, 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 a rat in the hospital. Uh-oh. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. I am here. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. Give the medicine! You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. Alright. We have cured him of his fatigue. Still missing something. And then we should go f cure um, Clay as well. I have to go Goodbye. now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Good evening, sir. Ah. Doctor. Doctor. Okay, where is Clay? He's probably outside. Oh, blood temptation. Remember, citizens blood will provide you a massive XP boost. Look for citizens of, of your mesmeric level or below and choose wisely. But that means I have to kill them, yeah? I don't want to do that. Clay, I'm here to fix you. Hey, Doc. You're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting to take better care of yourself. This place is full of sickness and decay. How could I get better in such a dump? <laughs> Here's your medicine. Consider yourself lucky that I'm treating all of my patients. <laughs> True. But don't push your luck. Don't play the innocent with me. I'm sure you have good reasons to act this way. And... Also, weaknesses that can be exploited. Uh-huh. Mesmerizing means killing them, though, right? Be mesmerize them? Can I just drink them a little bit? <laughs> can, I, can I just sippy a little bit? Probably not. All right, goodbye. I'll Where's Gwen if she was just right here? I just saw her. There you are. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Why is she? Oh. Ooh. Tell me what Dr. Tippett's did. I know his mistake caused a patient's death. If I had not covered up his error, Dr. Tippett's would have been fired from this hospital. I could not let that happen. You can't allow what? your emotions to dictate your conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannock. Look around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippett's in our situation? Oh, boy. Perhaps you did it with the best intentions, Nurse Brannigan, but you took a great risk. Must I remind you that a man died? You mean you've never made a mistake? Never covered your tracks? Come on, Doctor. I wasn't born yesterday. Oh. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. So we can we can do both of them. With the glorious battalion of Pembroke. Hey. Good evening, Doctor. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? Um, uh, maybe not. Maybe Come not. On. I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. Damn. What 
What was the nature of the mistake? It was a twofold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. Damn. Dude, how can you mess that up? Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks. Maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed the body. Why not stop practicing? Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it, and it won't happen again. I have saved so many lives since then. I mean, I agree with that. Oh, I'll cover for you. I will cover for you, Dr. Tibbetts, by keeping what happened to Mr. Connor to myself. I, I don't know what to say, actually. I can't exactly force you to become my accomplice. You didn't force me. This is my decision to make. I believe you're still of use to the hospital, considering the situation. Then I can make you this promise. As soon as the epidemic is eradicated, I will resign. Okay. I think that's really fucked up. He made one mistake, and he's been pushing himself. But... He has saved lives along the way. Good and bad's not black and white. There's a lot of gray areas. What will you do after your resignation? <laughs> do you have a plan? I always fancied visiting Cyprus. Such a beautiful Cyprus. island. Cyprus. I could buy a house there by the sea. Read poetry and wait for death. Okay. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Do we need to talk to Gwyneth again? Where did she go? Where did she go? Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Never mind. I think before we continue on to Dr. Swansea, I'm gonna go to our office, unless he stops me along the way. And we're gonna resty, maybe level up. And probably bring this episode to a close. I chose the wrong fucking area. Oh, we can also... Now we can do this. Okay, cool. Now we can make all kinds of things, but I'm not going to make them until I know what um, we need for each person. So, we have this now. What does that give us? Light blood serum. 60. Instantly. Okay. The flower's dying. It needs water. What kind of water does that thing need? Okay, let's see about our abilities. Oh, we have a lot of experience. Okay, um... Why can't we upgrade this? 2,000. We can upgrade this one. Which we might want. We can also upgrade these ones. I like biting. Biting's fun. I think biting's really fun. Spring. I can't have one more ability. I think I have four slots for this stuff. So maybe spring. Landing on them. Twenty damage. I also see that we have paths here. Which is cool. 
Could also just increase our health. How much is this one? Oh, we can do both of these. Let's do both of these. Get a little bit of everything going on. All right. Awesome. Well, we're decided to... Oh. Major district events. Every night the consequences of your actions may improve or degrade the district health status. It can also be degraded due to diseases spreading among citizens. The more lives you take, the unhealthier a district becomes. If a district's health status drops below the critical threshold, it will plunge into chaos. It is for you to decide of a district's faith. Because I healed them? Awesome. Stable. Stable. We should go heal him as well with fatigue. Awesome, we just have not met this dude yet. I don't know where to get him. I know he said he's in a sewer somewhere. Cool. Really awesome music too, by the way. Like, what the heck? Okay, with that, I think we're going to bring this episode to a close for now. I'm excited to continue on as we make our way through this game. It's very nice. I guess now all we have is um, Thelma's and their missing ingredient, which we could go try to do at the docks, but ah, maybe we'll do some main st quest still before we head over to the docks. We could make some more medicine for him as well. Let me go ahead and make fatigue medicine since we already know that we're going to give it to a dude. And with that, is it going to... It's saving. Okay. And with that, I'm going to bring this episode to a close. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.